Welcome to the ZF Education Center. In this video, we will demonstrate how to determine if you have a lift support beginning to fail, what to look for and how to find your replacement lift support, safety issues and other considerations when replacing your lift support, general instruction and tips to safely change your lift supports. Lift supports are a vital part of your vehicle when it comes to keeping your car's engine hood, lift gate, or trunk open. However, over time, your car's original equipment manufacturer's lift support may begin to lose its strength or even fail. Stabilis replacement lift supports are designed to meet or surpass your original equipment manufacturer's specifications. You can easily tell if your lift support is not functioning properly if the door that the lift support is holding starts to slowly close after opening or does not hold open the door at all. The replacement of the lift support rates a 2 on our scale of ease of installation. Before we begin, it is essential to review some important safety precautions that you need to take when replacing a lift support. Choosing the correct replacement lift support part is vital to your safety and the safety of the driver of that vehicle. Eyeballing it or using a part that looks close enough can cause injury. Your automotive parts store will have a Stabilis catalog listing the replacement part numbers based on the vehicle's manufacturer, make, and model year. It is helpful to note the original part number when visiting your local automotive store so that you are assured a perfect fit. If you can, use the camera on your cell phone to take a picture of the damaged original lift support for comparison before you leave for the store. Taking photos will also assist you in ensuring that the new lift support is installed in the same location as the one you are replacing. It is important to note that this procedure requires the assistance of another individual. Using a stick or pole to prop the lid open is dangerous and could result in a serious injury should the lid unexpectedly slam down on top of you. Some lift support systems incorporate electrical connections, which could cause burns or fire if not handled in a safe manner. Both the part you are replacing and the new Stabilis replacement lift support contain gases that are under pressure. Therefore, for your safety, it is essential that you adhere to the following safety procedures. The use of proper eye protection is important. Do not puncture or use heat in the removal or installation of the lift support. Make sure the vehicle is turned off while replacing the lift support. Do not attempt to close or compress the lift support manually. Only after the Stabilis lift support is attached to the vehicle should you attempt to test the part. Be careful while handling your new Stabilis replacement lift support. Nicking, denting, or even scratching the rod will result in premature failure of the part. Finally, while this video will cover many of the essential steps in replacing a lift support, it is not a substitute for reading the instructions that are included with your Stabilis replacement lift support. Now, let's begin replacing your old lift support with your new Stabilis lift support. Remember to seek the assistance of someone to hold the lid open before you begin. Do not use a pole or rod to prop the lid open. Before removing old lift supports, examine any hardware provided to determine which components must be reused. Use the camera on your cell phone to take a picture of the mounting of the old lift supports on both sides. Remove the old lift support one side at a time, once again with the help of someone holding the lid open. Some lift supports are connected to the vehicle with a plastic ball socket. To replace this type of lift support, take a small screwdriver and pry back the spring while tightly pulling the old lift support away. Be careful not to detach the spring clip from the vehicle. Clean the mounting area of the lift support with a shop rag. Now, securely install your new Stabilis replacement lift support, once again one side at a time, using any of the old mounting hardware only as needed. The new lift support must be installed in the same position as the old lift support unless the instructions included with your Stabilis lift support recommends otherwise. Some lift supports are mounted using eyelets with bolts or retaining clips. Follow the same procedures in replacing the lift supports. 
With your new lift support installed, give it a test. It should open and close the lid with little effort. Your new Stabilis lift support is designed to take the wear and tear of everyday use. Contact your authorized distributor or sales contact for more information. Please check the ZF Education Center for more informative videos or for further information, refer to the ZF website at www.zf.com US. You can also find ZF Aftermarket on Facebook and Twitter 